I got this for forty pounds off eBay, which is quite a lot. But it did come with two games, one of which is still sealed, which is nice. And considering the games are fifteen to twenty pounds each to buy new, then I think that's not a bad deal. But obviously, it doesn't work. Now the pins on the USB or the USB connector, the micro USB, look fine. I have looked at them before I've gone plugging something in. I mean, when you try and turn this on, it does come on, but it says the battery's completely dead. But then when you plug the micro USB in, yeah, it doesn't draw any amps. So it's I, I'm guessing the charging port is at fault, but I, I mean, I don't know. I would have thought it would draw something if there was another fault on it. And I have tried multiple micro USB cables and it does the same thing, so it's not the cable. Unless all my cables are faulty. Which is possible. I mean, the, it is a little bit, it does feel a little bit loose, but not, nothing major. I don't know. What I also don't know is how you get into this, because I can't see any screws. Which seems to be happening to me quite a lot recently. <laughs> I'm wondering whether you have to take this sort of front off and it exposes the screws underneath because I can't see any other way that you would get into this. I think I'm going to have to uh, Google it because I don't want to damage it. Uh, Google later. And according to Google, yes, you do have to take off this. I think I'm going to have to heat it up with my hot air gun and try not to damage it. Okay, I've got this set to 100 degrees, which is the lowest my air gun goes. Let's see how we get on with this. it was going to be. I had to use 200 degrees and I had to use one of these phone suction cup things but it did come off in the end quite easily and I don't think I've damaged anything. So it looks like the USB port is here. So let's disconnect the battery. I presume you have to take the battery off before you can take the board out. Yep, yeah, stuck down. Right. Excellent. Let's get this under the microscope. Right, well there's the port. I mean that looks absolutely fine, doesn't it? Let's do the solid test. Solid. 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 And solid. All solid. Right, so what on earth is wrong with this then? Ah. Uh... I didn't notice that with the naked eye. That is a bit wonky, isn't it? Wonky donkey. Yeah, and it looks like it's got a little crack in it there. I mean, the pins look like they're all still there. But I'm guessing with that crack... Yeah. It must be damaged internally. Alright, well, let's change it out, shall we? This is another one where I would quite like to change this to USB-C. And I have got test points there. So I presume data, data, power. I wonder whether I could do it with this one. The only problem I've got is this is very, very close. This connector here. It's obviously plastic. I don't want to go melting anything. And I'm not sure I've got enough space to put a USB-C port in. 
Hmm. Yeah, those miles bigger, aren't they? Can I make that work? First things first, let's try and get this damaged port off. I'm going to add some leaded solder to lower down the melting temperature. Melted the connector? No, that looks good. Right, well, let's see if I can get some tiny wires onto the end of this USB-C. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the wires. I'm going to put them to the point. Voice over Steve here. Let's just interrupt this buffoon for a second. I spent the next three hours mapping out USB-C pins, prepping the test points, applying solder mass to the original traces, grinding new anchor points for the USB-C port on the PCB, getting quite annoyed. And then I read that you needed some 5.1k resistors on CC1 and CC2 for the USB-C port to work. And I've got to be honest, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. So I quickly came to the realisation that I should probably stop what I'm doing because I'm an idiot. So let's pick up the video about three and a half hours later where I have gone back to plan B which should have been plan A, but there you go. Right, I'm sure voiceover Steve has just filled you in, like Craig David. I spent far too long trying to put USB-C on this, and I just can't do it. There's not a great deal of room. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to put a micro USB port on, because I want this thing to work. Uh, I don't know whether I will have shown it or not, because it was ridiculous, but I did put the port on. And I managed to secure it to these points here, these anchor points, uh, by scraping some of it away. So I'm going to cover that over now with some solder mask. Try and get it a little bit neater. Nice. I've got a replacement port here. How does it fit? It doesn't. It does. Nice. I'm going to tack one of these on the bottom to try and to do a couple. I'll tidy this up. Yes, it looks a mess. Alright, time for the solid test. Solid. Solid, 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 and solid. Nice. I could have just done that like three hours ago and saved myself a lot of heartache, but it's done now. I'm not sure it's going to work, because I think I might have messed it up, but let's find out. Uh, right, which way around does it go? See, that's the problem with micro USB, isn't it? It's turning it off. I have a broken this. I've, uh, I've 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 broken it, so I've done some other damage to it somewhere. What have I done? What have I done? Something must be shorting out, which is making this go into protection mode. So I reckon I've blown. 
something. I don't know. See if I can work it out. Checking every single capacitor for sure it's later. Right, I've been messing around with this for what seems like hours. In fact, it is hours. And it's now drawing. I think it's three amps. As soon as I plug this in, you'll see that immediately it draws a ridiculous amount of amps. There we go, three amps. So I can't leave it on for very long because something on this board gets incredibly hot. See if you can guess what it is. I'm going to put some isopropyl alcohol on the area. Is it the capacitor? Is it a diode? Is it a zero ohm resistor? Right, are you ready? I'm going to plug it in now. Whoa! Yes, it's this. And I don't know what it is. I think it's a diode. When I measure it in diode mode, I get 0 0.6 volts both ways. So it is a diode. It's not working. But if I take that off, I don't know what to replace it with. And I'm also not sure whether that is the problem. It's obviously getting very hot. It's got me thinking. I wonder if this is the original problem with this. And I've been messing around trying to put a USB-C port on it, spending hours on it, getting nowhere. Going back to putting a micro USB on and it's still not working. Maybe this was the original fault anyway. So I think I'm going to take that off. And I'm assuming it's a diode, but I don't know what to replace it with. But I'm going to take it off and I'm going to see if it still draws a ridiculous amount of amps. A bit of a mess, but it's better than melting the connector, I think. Right, let's try plugging it in now. Okay, drawing nothing now. Voice over Steve again. I hope I'm getting paid overtime for this. So basically what happened here is, I gave up, I finished the video, I said it was a fail, and I thought, well, that'll do. But then I couldn't sleep, and I was like, surely I can fix this. There must be something else wrong with this. What am I missing? So I went back to it the following day, and I thought, I'll just put any old diode on. It's got to be better than, than a jumper wire, or, or nothing. And let's just see what it does. If it explodes, hey, I've not lost anything, apart from 40 quid. So that's what I did. I will pick the video up here where I've taken a diode off a switch for some reason and thought, let's put that on. Oh wow, what's that? I didn't notice this before, but this this doesn't look very well, does it? Let's clean that up. Is it just me? It looks like it's got a big bulge in it. Yeah, that's all... It's all crunchy, I don't know if you can hear that. Yeah, that, that chip has gone. Yeah, it's just disintegrating. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's that's not very well. I'm on continuity, I'm just checking for shorts. Well, those two are both shorted. Ah, uh, this coil shorted. Why didn't I notice that yesterday? So has this chip failed, which has then made the diode fail, or was there nothing wrong with the diode? Um, unfortunately, I've lost it, which I keep doing, and it's really irritating. All right, well, I'm going to guess this is some kind of voltage regulator. Let's take it off, and let's see if the short disappears from the coil. I'm not going to know what sort of voltage regulator that is, am I? Because I can't see the markings on it. Right, let's see if those shorts have gone. 
here. So there's, there was a short, so that should be ground, but there was a sh short being put on that pad there. So now we've got no short. When I was working on the Retron 5, I did replace some components that were exactly the same as that. And I'm not saying they're the right ones. Right, well, let's see if it draws anything now. Shouldn't do. Because there's no battery connected. No. So we're getting zero amp draw. Let's connect the battery. And now, are we going to get any amp draw? Yes, we are. 0 0.6. Or 0 0.55, which is probably normal for charging that battery. Hmm. I think I'm going to put a voltage regulator in there and see what happens. Right, so that's the SY8009A SOT235. I'll have a look at the pinouts for that. I think that's right. So the voltage goes in there, and then the ground was definitely that middle pin there. That must be the enable. And then LX, I presume, is the output, is it? Right, so LX is the one that connects to the inductor. And there was an inductor right next to it. So I think, well, I'm just going to check on the board that that bottom right pad goes to the inductor. And if it does, I'm going with it. It does. I'm going with it. Okay, let's test that. Yes. We're getting 0 0.55 amp drawer again and we've got the red light on. Do I try and turn it on? I'm a bit worried. Okay, here goes. <gasps> no way. Right, well I'm not going to tempt fate any more than that. I'm going to let the battery charge up a bit and then I'm going to put this back together and then I'll test it when it's fully back together. Okay, I left this charging now for probably about 45 minutes. So let's see what it's going to do. Let's pop this game in. Here we go. Ho 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 ho. Come on. Hello. You beauty. I mean, I don't know how long it's going to last. I don't know if that chip's correct, it might explode. But let's see if we can play a game. Yeah, it's really quite hard to see from, from this angle. <laughs> cool. Die! Oh, you're supposed to die, not me! Stupid game. Calls diverted to answer phone. Red wine bottle half the content's gone. Midnight return, jacuzzi turned on. Can you fill me in?